Hello from Bangkok. Today is day one of our Bangkok trip. And so far things are not going according to plan because today we were supposed to go to Chak to Chak weekend market and I got tired and hungry and we didn't want to go so we canceled our plans. So we took a budget airline from Changi Airport, had breakfast there and took a 1045 flight. And then we ordered like a hotel pickup service from the airport. By the time we checked in, it was already like three and we had a massage booked for seven. Um, so we decided not to go to the market. We're staying at the... What do you call We're staying at the... What? <laughs> Staying at the Patumam Princess Hotel. Now I lost my train of thought. Anyway, it's a it's a small, nice little hotel with a lot of facilities. So here's a quick tour. Hmm, it is nice that they have a water tap fan. Instead of going to the market, we walked around a little bit, and then we walked over to this restaurant that. Nick was really looking forward to. There was a little bit of a wait, but the food, oh my god, we ordered like five different things and it only cost like 16 sing dollars, which is insanely cheap. It was really warm, so we decided not to walk around outside too much and then we came in and walked around the shopping center that the hotel is linked to. We also stopped by a supermarket to buy some Thai snacks. And then there was also this like little mini market thing going on inside the shopping mall. So we got a banana roti with Nutella. First bite of this roti. Mm. You can't go wrong with banana and Nutella. It's 7.30 and it's time for our first massage tonight. It rained in the afternoon so we couldn't go to the pool. So basically, I've been in the hotel room for like the past three hours trying so hard not to fall asleep. But we made it and we're gonna go get our massage now. Luckily, the spa place is a part of the hotel so we don't need to travel, which is nice because it's raining and I really don't want to go out in this weather. A little past 8 in the morning and we're headed to breakfast before we went to breakfast we stopped by a 7-eleven just to see what the convenience stores are like and dare I say I think Thai 7-elevens are even better than the ones in Korea or maybe it's just this one but there's like this whole bakery section a bunch of ready meals and just like so much variety and stuff I was very impressed we didn't get anything though. We're on our way to get something for breakfast. A lot of the stores are closed. So we'll see what we can find. <laughs> okay, so we were walking around looking for a place to eat and then we saw this like weird event going on for Lay's. There was a ton of people like lined up and we were like, oh, I wonder what that is. And then some Thai local um, guy, man, older man, comes up to us and he's like, oh, it's some celebration for Lay's and he was like explaining the thing and then he was like making small talk with us and then he was like, where are you from? So I said, I pointed to Nick and I said, oh, he's from Singapore and before I could say I'm Korean, he was like, oh, and you're Thai. This is not the first time I've been mistaken as Thai. This is actually the third time I've been mistaken as a local when I was in Thailand a long time ago and even when I was in Korea, someone thought I was Thai so apparently I have a very Thai face but anyway the guy told us a nice breakfast place we can go to and I'm gonna I'm just gonna check it out so this is part of a university I think and it's a food court this is a very local food court the menu there's no English on the menu so we're kind of like just looking at pictures and um, seeing what we want So apparently you can't pay by cash, you need to get a cash card 
and top it up and then use that to buy your food and none of like the lady there didn't speak English so some guy like tra helped us translate which is really nice of him but I guess now that we have our card we should get something so we got a crepe what is this an omelette right and you got two like bao I'm so sweaty already I don't know how people survive in this no air conditioner. So when ordering this omelette thing, Nick says he used Google Translate, which translated to yes. So we got a plate of yes, and it tastes like an oyster omelette. This bao filling, I don't know what it is, but it's like spicy meat with a boiled egg inside. It's so good. So today we booked a floating market tour on Kluk and we're meeting in front of Siam Paragon at 10 a.m. It's like a two hour drive from this area and that's gonna be our whole schedule for today. It's gonna take the whole day. I think we're getting back at like 4 p.m. So yeah, I guess that's the highlight of our, of our trip. And anyway, that was a really interesting morning and a breakfast. <laughs> for half price uh, no matter what like whatever you're buying and I'm so bad at bargaining um, but I still did manage to buy like two bracelets but I'm too scared to buy anything else
Good morning. It's our last full day in Bangkok, and today we're having breakfast at McDonald's. The reason why is because in Singapore, McDonald's is halal, so they don't have pork in their menu. And although they do a really good McSpicy, their sausage egg McMuffins are pathetic. So I'm hoping that Thai McDonald's will be a lot better in terms of the breakfast department. And also, I like visiting McDonald's in different countries and see what local menus they have and stuff. So today is going to be a very relaxing day because yesterday I did all my tourist stuff. So we'll probably go to the pool, do a bit of shopping, and eat good food. And that's how we're going to end our trip. It's better than Singapore. Yeah. And I think the the muffin, English muffin, is also softer. Right? So why didn't Singapore feel a bit papery? Let's go! This place looks like a whole station. Orchard and that all the malls are linked together. So we're just going from mall to mall trying to find our final destination where all the cheap clothes are. Supposedly wholesale and at cheaper prices. Um, I don't know if I want to buy a lot because we don't have a lot of luggage allowance. But um, yeah, let's take a look. There's a Tim Hortons here in Bangkok. There's no Tim Hortons in Korea or in Singapore and I've seen it a lot on YouTube and I've been dying to try. So even though this is not a Thai chain, I still just came to try it. So this is the one I've been looking forward to a lot. It's the maple bacon. So they're not fresh. They are very cold. But still nice. I mean, I don't think I was expecting that much. I kind of expected like a better Dunkin' Donut, but I still love a donut, so.
video of the vlog. We just had our dinner, it was delicious. And then I took a bath because I was tired from all the walking. And then we're here for our final massage of the day. And then tomorrow morning, we're gonna head back to the airport. So, bye.